right. <clears throat> Baki Roll, Coney Roll, it's your boy, same old man. We back at the Ant Hill. Today, I'm here with my boy, LaShawn. Uh, unfortunately, we meeting up due to grief, uh, but we came here to share our story with y'all because uh, we feel like we can help some people, you know, especially uh, black men, because, you know, in our community, it ain't really, uh, let me say, should I say appropriate to show your emotions, cry, you know what I'm saying? It's only either be angry or be happy, you know what I'm saying? And it, for everybody, whether they man, woman, child, you know what I'm saying? They they go through all these different types of emotions. And um, firstly, uh, I'll tell my, my story. Um, October 10th, uh, I got one of the worst phone calls I could ever imagine. Uh, my uh, dad called me, uh, told me, my sister passed away. She just did not wake up at age 34. Um, it, it, it just didn't make sense to me. Um, but um, I'm here today to share some of my experience with grief and uh, everything like that. And um, LaShawn is here to help me out because he's going through some of the same things that I'm going through. So uh, LaShawn, tell him about your side of your story. Um, what it was, November 18th. Um, shit, chilling outside, I had a day off, um, get a call from my sister's phone and it's her mom and she calling me, she crying and whatnot. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You know what's going on? And she was like, you know what I'm saying? You know, Sean, you need to call your daddy. And you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all need to come to this hospital and see your sister. Cause you know what I'm saying? She not doing too good. And they don't think she gonna make it throughout the day. And I'm just like, bro what like I, I just talked to her on the phone a couple of days ago like you know what I'm saying like I talked to my sister my, I was usually talking to my sister a couple of times out the week you know what I'm saying she just called to check in make sure I'm chilling you know what I'm saying? make sure everything good and whatnot and like me like usually like when I hear like you know what I'm saying you know somebody dying or done passed away or some shit like that like I usually just like oh damn like that's you know what I'm saying? That's tough, but you know what I'm saying? When I heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I realized, like, yo, this is my sister, you know what I'm saying? Like, I broke down because I'm like, yeah, no, like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't supposed to be this way. You know, we were just getting right, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what I think what really hit me hardest about it the most is the fact that we had just reconnected like five years ago mm -hmm. due to, you know what I'm saying? You know, some parent issues, you know what I'm saying? Her mom and my dad really not, you know what I'm saying, seeing out of eye on things. And um yeah, like the shit just really the shit really terrible. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's you know, you know, it's even worse. Like I feel like in in my situation, not kind of you know saying, you know, not downplaying, you know saying nobody else's situation, because I know people, you know saying, you know, lose family members all the time, siblings and shit. But like what fucked me up the worst was the fact that when we got to the hospital, she was like barely clinging on to life, bro. Like all kinds of shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, hooked up to her. And my sister was a diabetic. Mm. So that was, you know what I'm saying? That played a, a big part mm -hmm. in, you know what I'm saying? You know, her demise. And it's like, my sister was young. My sister was 22 years old. Her birthday was just, what, two weeks ago. You know, like that shit just really, I'm still taking it day, you know day by day. That's all I really can do. So um, let me start with the first question. How are you currently feeling right now? Like truly? Like, currently feeling? I'm still, I'm, I'm still battling with it because it's like there are days like where I'll be wanting to pick up the phone and just call in. You know, we just chop it up on the phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I used to talk to my sister every week. So it was like, you know, call her, check on her, or like, you no, know, she'll usually call me on like a Saturday or Sunday and be like, hey, bro, I'm cooking, come get you a plate. And, you know, so I go over there, get me a plate and shit like that. And it was crazy because the week before that, I had just went over there and got a plate. So. Let me say, firstly, I, I really appreciate you sharing that with me and with us because I, I know just talking through it is tough. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure, bro. Like, a lot of people don't, you know, so a lot of people don't really, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't 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 really, especially us black men, we don't know how to express the feelings that we're feeling. And like I can't even 
you know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, oh, listen, you know, talk to your parents, talk to your family members. And it's like, you can, but at the same, like, you just don't, you know what I'm saying? You can't really find the right words to say. Yeah, this this is very true. Um, When when I got the news, uh, I, I just, I was like, nah, nah, nah. I, I started blowing up a phone, uh, kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. And then eventually I, I had called my dad and then he was like, I know son. And I I hit the floor, started screaming. Like uh, I put on clothes and just like ran out the house. Cause I, I felt like you, like, you know, you got that feeling like it's a hole in your chest. Like you can't breathe. Yeah, like, it was like you can't even, you can't even breathe. Like, like it's so many different emotions. Like, you know what I'm saying? You start thinking of like, damn bro like you know what I'm saying like me and my sister we were so close and you know what I'm saying you know we would like like I said we you know I'm saying there was a big gap in between you know what I'm saying us being together mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying now that we had got reconnected and shit like that it was just like it was almost like you know what I'm saying you know we picked up like you know what I'm saying like we never you know what I'm saying we was never apart and um yeah like she had big plans I had big plans and you know, what I'm saying? my sister, you know, you know, she she was a hard worker. Like, you know, what I'm saying? you know, my sister, you know, what I'm saying what well, she worked two jobs, went to school, and had her own little business. You know what I'm saying? And and this was the year, like, I'm like, you know, saying, you know I'm like, shit, you know, what I'm saying, you know, 2022, where we going hard, bro. Like, and she like, damn right, like, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way we could do it. And it's like, you know, what I'm saying, you know, one minute you happy, because as a matter of fact the day before they sent me a letter and they sent me an email saying they was finna send my twit badge because I'm a longshoreman now. Oh, yeah. So like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? Like being that I had like, I have a, you know what I'm saying? A criminal history mm -hmm. or whatever, or running with the police rather, you know what I'm saying? Well, I went to jail for like a day, but you know what I'm saying? Being that you know what I'm saying? I had a criminal history, I had to like, you know what I'm saying? I had to manually do my application and shit. So I was tripping about that because I'm like, damn, bro, don't let me get my twit badge. I'm gonna be sick. And she kept telling me, you're going to get it, you're going to get it, you're going to get it, you're going to be straight, you're going to be good. And then it's just like, I get the bitch. And then the next day, you know what I'm saying, you know, she gone. And like, I try to tell people, like, the worst part wasn't just losing her. The worst part was watching her in her final, like, her final hours. You know what I'm saying? Not being able to respond not you no know, saying you know breathing irregularly and shit like that like you know what I'm saying that's something that I hope that nobody would have to see you know what I'm saying watch your sibling or any loved one for that matter you know what I'm saying on their deathbed not being able to respond to you like that shit that shit tough as fuck dog like well um because I I mean I know we kind of going through the same thing but obviously I don't know your pain so I'm I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, yeah, nothing else I can really say to, cause I can't fix the situation. Yeah, no, no I'm saying you, you can't. You just gotta. For some people, like some people don't understand, like when you going through grief, there, there's seven stages of grief. Like first you go through shock and denial. Like hell no, nah, this this did not happen. Ain't no way this happened. She gonna call me soon. She gonna she gonna pick up the phone. She gonna beat us. She gonna walk through that door. Ain't no, ain't no way, ain't no way. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah. you start feeling the pain and the guilt of like, oh, moments that you might have missed, or uh, uh, things that you might have did or, or said, or or things like that. And then, like for me, I'm I'm still in the pain and guilt stage because, like I tell people, be be very wary of what you say to, especially your loved ones, because or what you think, because. Uh, Fits of anger are definitely a deadly sin, boy. Cause uh, it was probably back in like July, like way before uh October tenth. And um, uh, like I tell people, uh, she she was probably just having a moment going through something. Like I said, my sister got a kid. She she a single mom. She uh did the sperm donor thing. So she was like, "F, I want to be a mom so bad." Like, and that that was her. That made her so happy. Like when she finally got to be a mom, like. That was her greatest joy because my uh, niece Kyla was born on uh, Christmas Eve, actually. And she said that was the greatest Christmas present she ever got. And um, 
she kind of snapped at me for something. And I was like, bro, nah, fuck this. I'm not coming home for Thanksgiving. I'm not coming home for Christmas because every time I come home, somebody yelling at me. Yeah. That wasn't our last conversation, but like she didn't even make it to Thanksgiving or Christmas. I didn't know my last Thanksgiving or Christmas was going to be my last one with them. You know what I'm saying? So for, for a lot of people, like you just got to be weird what you say. Um, sometimes it ain't that serious. Like it really ain't that serious. Like and the, the worst thing you're going to feel is the guilt afterwards. You're going to feel so much guilt every single day that you, you ain't going to know what to do with yourself. And so, I mean, it, it's just, it, it's hard. Like, like you said, as black men, we, we we have to do better for each other. Like, if you don't know, yeah. I'm, I'm here for you always. Like you, like I tell yeah. all my friends, you yeah. call me 24 seven. If I do not pick up, leave me a message and I'll get right back to you immediately. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's just, we, we, I saw a quote the other day and it said, uh, the hole in your heart gets filled by others around you. And mm. it's like, you, you gonna need them people. It, that's the reason why I say it takes a village. So yeah, for sure. We gotta be here for each other. Um, when, when you first got the news, like what, what was your exact feelings? Like what, what were you feeling? Like at first like, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, like, nah, 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 nah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting here like, nah, not nah, my dog, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, what? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, like, bro, my sister was like my best fucking friend, bro. Like, I could call my sister for anything. Like, no matter what's going on, like, you know, you know, I could call my sister, bro. Like, she gonna answer the phone. And if she didn't answer the phone right away, but she was gonna call back. So it's just like, you know, I'm just like, well, I'm like, well, fuck. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know, my mama, like, or what's going on? I'm like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Her mama just called me and told me that she's not going to make it through the day. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm sitting here trying to process everything at one time. And, like, all the emotions just, like, they just took over. And, like, I'm crying. I'm calling my dad. I'm calling my uncles. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, her and my dad really didn't have the best of relationships due to the fact that, you know, you know, the shit that her mom and my dad went through, mm-hmm. but they was building that back up. You know what I'm saying? You know, she would come around them, you know, you know she would laugh and, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? Me, him and her did have breakfast one, you know I'm saying? one Sunday morning or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We chopped it up, we chilled and, you know what I'm saying? We talked our shit and whatnot. And, um, it was just like, it was wild because like, you know what I'm saying? I had to call my dad. Like he had just started going, like he had just like, you know, you know, started his day, like, you know what I'm saying, to go to work. Yeah. And you know, I had to go get him because of um, you know what I'm saying, you know, he was riding with my granddad and shit. Hold on, give me a second, my grandma's coming up. But yeah, like I had to go get him and shit. And like my you know what I'm saying, me, her, and my youngest uncle, um, like we was like real, real close. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm calling him. He a truck driver, so I'm calling him. But I'm I'm already knowing he sleep. He done drove all night. Yeah. And then like you know what I'm saying? I guess like he was getting like call after call after call after call after call. So he you know what I'm he decided that you know what I'm saying? You know shit. Let me call him and see what the fuck going on. And I told him I said, bro, you need to come home. And he was like, what's up? And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? TT in the hospital. You know what I'm saying you know she might not make it. And um, he like, what the fuck? Like you know what I'm saying what the fuck you mean? And basically, this is how the story went. Um, her friend hadn't heard from her in a couple of days. And, you know what I'm saying, she was concerned. And, you know, so, you know her mama was like, well, when last time you saw it? And she was like, the other day I went over there, you know, so, you know we ate crabs and shit, you know what so, you know, We was chilling. And, you know what I'm saying, my sister, like, my, like I said, my sister was a diabetic. So, you know, she was, you know what I'm saying, you know, she had already said, she wasn't feeling good, no. but those that know about sister, like know how how like strong headed she is. She was like, you know, oh, I'm gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a oh, shit. But yeah, like she was like, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be straight. And you know what I'm saying? Like we're just like okay. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be good. You say you're gonna be good. We're gonna believe you. We're gonna take your word for it. And you know what I'm saying? like I told you, like the week before that, she had called me. 
come get a plate. And she told me she wasn't feeling good, but she just said she wanted some ginger ale. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm already thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're not feeling good, let me know. Like, let me know what's up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll go get you what you need. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, she just, you know what I'm you know, she just was like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm fine. You know, I just need some ginger ale. And, you know what I'm saying? The whole time I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, like, you know, damn. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should have, you know what I'm saying, you know, made her say what she needed. Maybe I should have, you know what I'm saying, you know, got in her ass and be like, you know what I'm saying, hey, bro, like, what's up? You know what I'm saying, what you need, what you need? And like, you know what I'm saying, when we got there, we looking around for, we find, you know what I'm saying, you know, they take us to, you know, you know, where she was at. And it's just like, you know what I'm saying, you know, just seeing her in that, in that fucking bed, you know what I'm saying, you know, hooked up to all these different machines and, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, she breathing irregularly, and you know what I'm saying. She can't, you know, she can't respond to nothing that we're saying. And I'm just like, you know, well, fuck, like, and and I'm I'm sitting there thinking, like, you know, you know, as her big brother, I'm like, damn, like, what can, you know, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? What, you know, saying, what can I really do? And I'm, you know, what I'm saying, I'm calling people, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like process everything and everybody like, you know what I'm saying? You know, just, just you know, you know how you know saying, most of you be like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, you know, just have faith, just have faith. She gonna pull through, she gonna pull through. And I'm like, man, y'all didn't see that shit. Like, that's really, it was terrifying, bro. Like, and I'm just sitting here like, you know, like, what are we gonna do? And they were saying like her, how her blood sugar was like fucking sky high and shit like that. And you know, so I talked with her mom. Her mom was like, you know, what I'm saying when they found her, um, you know, what I'm saying she was in her house and she was on the floor, like you know, what I'm saying you know, my sister, you know, most girls try to walk around their house all naked and shit. They say they found her on her floor naked, like unconscious, and like. What pissed me off about that was the fact that they called, you know, JSO to do a wellness check. And they said JSO took a sweet, precious time to get out there. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows how long my sister had, you know what I'm saying, had been on that floor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, you know what I'm saying, you know, nobody knows, you know what I'm saying, you know, how long, you know what I'm saying, she wasn't feeling well and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying, like, the whole time I'm just sitting here thinking like I'm 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 praying I'm asking God like listen like if you don't do me one favor just do me this one like you know what I'm saying you know, bring my sister back to me mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and talking to her mom so like my sister like a couple years ago she was pregnant but she lost the baby she ended up having a stillborn you know what I'm saying stillborn baby you know what I'm saying it was a little boy and you know, being that, you know what I'm saying, she just like me, she kind of like, you know what I'm saying, you know, bottle her emotions and shit like that. So, like, I didn't know, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, how hard that situation had hit her. But coming from her mom's mouth, like, my sister really missed her son, like, a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's tough as fuck. But, you know, a woman to have a, a stillborn child, like, you have, to, you have to push out a dead baby. And then, like, you know what I'm saying, she got to hold them and, you know what I'm saying, you know, shit like that. So it, it it was crazy. And then like, as the day progressed, you know what I'm saying, hours and hours go by and shit like that. You know what I'm saying, I'm trying to stay from inside the hospital because you know what I'm saying, everybody crying and I'm trying to keep myself from crying. Mm-hmm. And like, you know what I'm saying, you know, I went back in to check on her. And like the last time, like I laid eyes on, on my sister, you know what I'm saying, while she was alive was, you know what I'm saying, I went back in and her mom was like, yeah, like her blood sugar gonna drop, you know what I'm saying, you know, they're trying to get, you know what I'm saying, to drop a little further, you know what I'm saying, to a, a nice range. And, you know what I'm saying, you know, we can, you know, we can, you know, hope for the best and shit. And it was like, you know what I'm saying, they gonna monitor her for the, you know what I'm saying, for the next 24 hours. And I'm like, okay, cool, 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 bet. And, you know, so I go in the room, me and her uncle, we end up chopping it up, talking and whatnot. And just out of nowhere, like, 
the nurse came in, check in, you know, saying, you know, check on her, make sure she good and shit, you know what I'm saying, check her vitals and shit. And, you know, we just sitting there chilling, we watching the nurse. And the nurse, you know, saying, you know walked over to her side and kind of put, you know, you know, kind of put her fingers on the neck, you know what I'm saying, to check her pulse. And then she was like, I'm gonna need y'all to step out real quick. So we like, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what's going on? Yeah. And they like, you know what I'm saying, she like, I don't know. So her uncle like, you know what I'm saying? What you mean you don't know? Like, you know what I'm saying? You the professional. You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to know what's really going on. And I kid you not, dog, like her heart rate dropped from like, it was like, what, like 120 to like 50 beats from it, like in a, in a split second, dog. Like, and she just went to doing chest compression, chest, you know, and I'm sitting there and I'm just like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm speechless, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, bro, like, I can't even watch this shit. And I go tell her mom, I go tell my dad, and I'm just, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm out of it at this point. And then I'm like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to, you know if they're going to save her. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? What, you know what I'm saying? What's really going to go down? Like, I'm, I'm nervous and shit. And... You know what I'm saying? I, I leave to go get something to eat. And I come back and I'm chilling on the phone with my youngest uncle, bro. He like, bro, she gonna pull through, bro. She gonna pull through, bro. And I'm like, I'm hoping, like, I'm praying she gonna pull through, car. And fucking, um, like 10 minutes later, Pops text and I was like, bro, she gone. And I'm just like, at that point, I'm like, I can't even fucking cry no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I know I had been crying that entire morning, bro. And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Can I see her? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you come up and see her and shit. And like, you know what I'm saying? I go up there and like everything's off, bro. Like everybody crying and shit. And I'm just like, I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, you know, like that's it. Like, and, and you know, you know and, and and it got to the point to where like I kind of was beating myself up about it, cause you know what I'm saying, you know, like as an older sibling, you know, you kind of you, know, so you kind of take that unspoken vow that no matter what, you you gonna protect your siblings. You know what I'm saying, you know, through whatever, you know what I'm saying, no matter what the situation is, no matter you know what I'm saying, you know, what you know saying, you know what happens and. At that point, like, you know, while she was still alive, I'm sitting here thinking, like, bro, she need any organ, bro. I'm I'm trying to hand it over. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? If I don't make it, you know, and she make it, what, you know, how am I going to write this down? Like, how am I going to explain this shit to her? Like, you know what I'm saying? To where, you know, she don't be mad at me for my decision. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm just like, you know, like I'm I'm looking at her, bro. She, you know, she just nothing. Like everything's off. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't, you know, she wasn't breathing. Nothing. And and you know, I I grabbed her hand. And I'm just like, like, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I could really say was I'm sorry. Like. What, you know what, I'm what could I, you know, what I'm saying, you know, could I have done more? Could, you know, could I have, you know what I'm saying? Could, could I have done anything, you know what I'm saying, for, for the most part? And there's, you know, that's like a, that's a situation that like, as a man, bro, like, that shit make you feel so powerless. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it makes you feel so like, it, it make you feel so small, bro. Like, yeah, my dad was there, but I was closer to her than my dad was. You know what I'm saying? I was one of the ones who, you know, saying, you know who was closer to her, like, you know what I'm saying, towards the end, you know what I'm saying? Like, my sister called me for anything, and it's like, you know what I'm saying, that shit just make, you know what I'm saying, like, you literally go from feeling like, you know what I'm saying, you know, that protective big brother to, like, you feel like the smallest thing in the world. And I'm just like, you know, wow, bro, like, what, what, it, it, you know what I'm saying, even now, dog, like, it, 
it's, it's, it's hard to talk about. It's hard to speak about. But at the same time, it's just like, it's still fresh. Like my sister only been gone two months. And it's like, you, you know, you still think about it. You still kind of like, you know what I'm saying? You still try to. You ain't never gonna stop thinking about it. Like, it's, yeah, no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like every day, bro. Like, every day I get up, like, I just, I just wish she was still here. Like, I wish I could still call. I wish I could still pull up on her. You know what I'm saying? You know, we chill, we hang out, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could hear her call me and tell me, like, you know what I'm saying? Brother, I want some seafood. Let's go get some seafood. But, brother, I wanna get out of the house. Come, you know what I'm Come get me. Let's go do something. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know what you wanna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, like that was my best friend, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, you still got other siblings. And like, yeah, I do. I had a lot of other siblings. But you know what I'm saying? You can't replace that one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? No matter what I'm saying, yeah, you know what I'm saying, bring you closer to the other ones, but it's like you can't replace that, you know what I'm saying, that one that you lost. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, once again, like. I, I, I can't overstate this. I appreciate you sharing this with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, like you just said, I know it's tough for you. It's it's still mighty fresh for you. Uh, so I I can't say I know what you're going through, but I, I appreciate you sharing with me. And like, I, I'm sorry, bro. Like that that I I wouldn't wish that on the worst person in the world. Like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? To watch your loved one, you know what I'm saying? Be, be ripped away from you, bro. Like, you, you can't even really, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? I, I wish nobody would have to see no shit like that. You know what I mean? And I know there's plenty of people around the world who have to, um, not trying to compare stories, but uh, like with my uncle, uh, his wife had cancer and, uh, he had to go through that and uh she had passed the day after my birthday and uh that that like that's still hard for me because it's like every time my birthday come around i, I don't even want to celebrate because i feel like ain't hey, well like it, it's plenty of people out there hurting like the next day finna hurt like you know what i'm saying um so like you know the seven stages of grief uh first being shock and denial second being pain and guilt third being anger and bargaining the fourth being depression, loneliness, and reflection. Five is the upward turn. Six would be the reconstruction, like reconstructing your life to get used to this norm. And then the seventh is acceptance and hope. So how are you processing these sequence of events and what stage of grief would you say that you are in? Uh, right now, um, you know, I don't really know. Like, I mean, and that's okay. Because that, okay. It was at first, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, bro, life just life was at a standstill, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was at a complete like stop. Like, yeah, I'm still getting up, going to work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still, you know what I'm saying, you know, pushing the, you know, get what I had planned. You know what I'm saying? I'm still pushing for that shit. But it's still that constant thought that, you know, the one person who you really want to share all these moments with, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, is no longer here because to be honest, it's not even my first time losing a sibling. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was in like, what, middle school, my, I'm saying my oldest brother died. He wasn't my blood brother, but like, you know what I'm saying? He was introduced to me as, you know what I'm saying, you know, that's your brother. Nothing, I'm saying, nothing more, nothing less. No half brother, no god brother. You know, that's your brother. You know what I'm saying? And he was real deal special to me. You know what I'm saying? He was one of them, he was one of them siblings that like, you know, so you want to grow up and kind of be like, even though I'm saying, my brother did wrong, you know, I still, I'm saying, you know, as a as a little boy, and you know, saying, you know. You idolize, you know, you know, some male figures in your life, no matter what they're doing, you know, saying, you know, as a little boy, you know, saying, you know, when you find yourself in the world, you know, saying, you know, you idolize some, you know, some men who are in your life, and he's one of the men who I idolized in my life. So, like, you know, you know, but when he passed away, like, I kind of took it as, you know, you know, damn, you know, he gone, he ain't coming back, bro. It's nothing I could do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm just like. 
at this point, like losing my sister, like, you know what I'm saying? Being like, me and her was so close and me and her talked so much. Like, I don't know where I'm at. Like, I mean, I'm depressed, but I know for a fact that, you know, no matter, you know what I'm saying? No matter how you look at it, no matter, you know, no matter, no matter you know, which angle you stand at it, you know what I'm saying? You stand around it, you know what I'm saying? No matter if you got on glasses or, or, or not, you know what I'm saying? You know, the outcome is still, you know what I'm saying? It's still there. Like, it's still like, you know what I'm saying? You know, she gone. It's still like, you know what I'm saying? You know, one of those situations where like, you just like, you know what I'm saying? And it'd be days where like, I, you know, I'd be, I could be chilling and you know, so I see some, I see something that remind me of her. Like, my sister, like, you know, what I'm saying, you know, her favorite car was an Audi. She had an Audi. Um, unfortunately, she crashed that bitch in my house. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> bringing me, bringing me some food, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, she, uh, you know, what I'm saying, Audi was, you know, what I'm saying, that was her favorite car. Every time I see an Audi, I think of her. You know, what I'm saying, anytime, you know, so I see a, a, a a rapper of some sort with, you know what I'm saying, you know, with a real expensive watch on, I think of her, you know what I'm saying? I got her as my, you know what I'm saying, it was my home screen, you know what I'm saying, you know, picture me and her, you know what I'm saying, we was drunk as hell, leaving, you know what I'm saying, leaving brunch. And, well, I was drunk as hell, she really wasn't that drunk, but, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying, you know, every time, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, I just, you know, it'd be times where I'd be sitting there thinking, like, damn, like, my dog really, you know, she really gone, like, and I try not to, you know, downplay how everybody else taking it, because, you know what I'm saying, she was, they family member as well as mine, um, it's real unfortunate for her mom, because she was the only child, you know what I'm saying, so it was like, you know, her mom had to bury her only child. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, it's, it's tough for everybody. You know what I'm saying? One of my uncles, he, he was supposed to cook for her. And, you know, he never really got around to it. And it's just like, you know, it it probably still bothered him, you know, because she was, you know, she had been asked for it. And, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was going to do it, but, you know, adulting. Yeah, life, life is getting away. Like <laughs> life really do get in the way. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It, it's just you know, what I'm saying? it's just one of them things. Like you know, what I'm saying? you know, you still, you know what I'm, I'm still beating myself up about it. I'm still sad about it, but I kind of look at it like you know, you know what I'm saying? Being that I know the kind of person that my sister was, and being that you know what I'm saying you know I know what she expected out of me. You know what I'm saying? Not just as, you know, saying, you know, as her brother, but as a man in particular, I feel like that I can't, I can't give up, you know what I'm saying? My dreams, my goals, you know what I'm saying? I can't give up, you know, doing what I said I was going to do with her. You know what I'm saying? I got to take every moment, every day, every step, every breath, and you know, so you know, give it all I got. But um, what what stage of grief do you, you know, saying are you in? Uh, like I probably say either pain or guilt or in anger and bargaining between those two, uh, because like I said, I I knew I need to take my own advice. Don't don't beat yourself up. Like you can't beat yourself up. Uh, Unfortunately, we not God, so we yeah. we don't have the whole bigger picture. We don't have the the mind to process these things and understand why they happen. And um, I think that's what makes me most angry is that I I just don't understand why this had to happen. Like uh, when we finally got the death certificate, it said complications sickle cell, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? For me, it's like, what you mean, like? sickle cell ain't really something people die from anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's plenty of people living with sickle cell every day. And uh, people don't realize like you can really, 
you can really die from it. And um, same with diabetes. Yeah, yeah, it, same. Like, uh, I don't know too many people with diabetes, but my grandfather had diabetes, so like he had to stay on top of that stuff, like taking his medicine, uh, checking his blood sugar and his glucose and everything like that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I know that right there is like a process, like you gotta do it like six uh, times a day or something like that, something crazy like that. But, um, it, and like the worst part about it is like, I just feel more angry, even though like my sister wanted me to, because like a lot of things in this world make me angry, it's not like, like homelessness and things like that, like why people have to have cancer and things like that, like stuff like that makes me so angry. And she just wanted me to, 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 to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Like realize like every problem in the world ain't your problem. Like you're not Superman, you're not God. So like, just, just really leave it to God. And yeah, like, bro, like sometimes I just feel so angry with myself. So and I get so angry with other people, like with little stuff, like it, so, like the smallest stuff. And it's like, I, I know I really need to stop, but I just don't know why I get so damn angry. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And that, that in turn makes me feel even more guilty and more pain. Cause it's like, I know she looking at me like, you, you gotta calm down. You need to chill out. You can't just be cursing everybody out at the drop of a dime. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'd have to say between pain and guilt and anger and, and bargaining because like it. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, no, nah, like I could, I could say, yeah, I'm, I'm a little angry too because um, what it was like the funeral, I think the funeral really pissed me off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I can't tell people how they feel about a person. You know what I'm saying? But my sister was really one to, you know, so, you know she was one of them, one of the people who who going to voice her opinion. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who going you know, to say how she feeling? And, you know, my sister would tell you like, you know what I'm saying? You know, bro, I don't fuck with them people. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't vibe with them people and shit like that. And, you know, like all these people out here acting like, you know, you know they was, you know what I'm saying? They was they was there with her. You know what I'm saying? They was, you know what I'm saying? They was coming and taking her places. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, my sister had a business. My sister sold natural hair care products. And anytime, like, you know, so, you know like when she wanted to do a pop-up shop, being that she, you know what I'm saying, she crashed her car and shit, she would call me and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, you feel like taking me to yeah. do this pop-up shop. And like we did one together. And you know what I'm saying? It it was a fun experience because it's like, you know what I'm saying, to see, you know what I'm saying, you know, your sibling pushing their product. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about the money, but it you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, she educating people mm -hmm. on, you know, each product, you know what I'm saying, you know, comparing her products to other people's products and some of the bigger brands and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? She wearing her natural hair out so you can see, you know what I'm saying, you know. I use, you know, saying, you know, I use my perks all, all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I can't yeah. say, because you know, I'm, I'm vouching for her and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, like, I use her, her products on my locks. You know what I'm saying? Great products. Yeah, that's one thing I can't say, because uh, you know, I had worked with your sister for, I'm not even sure how long, because, you know, we was both at Gym Pack for a little while. And uh, I, I only saw her with her natural health, like, we ain't talk much, but I only saw her with her natural hair. I I didn't even know until like when you had started posting it. Oh, that's your sister, and she got a hair care company and everything like that. And yeah, yeah, I, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people said that, and and a lot of people was like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? a lot of people knew her from like, you know, saying you know, working at certain jobs, so like they went to school with her and shit like that. And a lot of people was like, was like, damn, that's your sister. Like, yeah, that's my, that's my, you know what I'm saying? that's my blood sister. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got the same initials and all. And like, you know what I'm saying, you know, the anger part of it, you know what I'm saying, of losing her, like, it, like I said, it came from like, you know, so, you know, the funeral, everybody just out there, like, you know what I'm saying, oh, oh, she was my favorite this and she was my favorite that. And I'm sitting here thinking like, I, you know, you know yeah, you know, so, you, know, get, you know what I'm saying, granted, we on two different sides of the fence when it comes to family wise, but 
I ain't never seen I've you. Never, I've never seen you, you know what I'm saying, you know, do any those, I never seen you pull up. I never heard her speak on you. You know what I'm saying? I never, you know what I'm saying, you know, I never heard her say, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know, me and my people finna go do this. Like, you know what I'm saying, you know, my sister really stayed to herself. My sister really like, you know, she only had her select few people around her, you feel me? So, it's, you know, it's just like, you know what I'm saying, to see all these people acting like, you know what I'm saying, you know, they was real deal, like, with her and shit like that. It kind of, it, it kind of made me mad, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it was like, I think another thing that was pissing me off about it was like, you know, people was, people was real deal trying to like, trying to get like the whole gist of like what happened. It's like, bro, like right now that doesn't matter. Like, especially like in the beginning, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't really matter, you know what I'm saying? You know, how it happened, just know my sister is no more. Yeah, my sister, my sister is no longer walking this fucking earth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People ask me like, "No, oh, does she believe in God?" And you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? You know, if she didn't, why does it matter? You know what I'm saying? That that's my fucking sister, regardless of who she believed that, in. That that's irrelevant right now. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know that that was my sister, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That that was you know, saying, you know, like I tell everybody, that was my fucking baby, like. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like her mama, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy because, like, in the hospital, a lot of people didn't know who I was. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody had, hadn't had seen me in 20 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm 24. I'll be 25 in May. And, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, people looking at me, they're like, you know what I'm saying? They ask me, like, who's that? She like, that's Lil Sean. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know? And then it was just always, like, you know what I'm saying? The people who did talk to her or whatever, damn. Hold on, I know, I know, we talk about this, but Brady just retired. It, it, it just came down. Wait, hold on, you cap. That shit just came up on ESPN. Dog. Oh my god, we talk about a serious goddamn thing, and, and Brady just retired. Oh wow. Well, he ain't got nothing else to prove. I mean, seven chips, man. But, but I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like. Everybody was just like, you know what I'm saying? You know, people who did, you know what I'm saying, speak to her on you know, saying, you know, on the regular or you know what I'm saying, you know, did speak to her, like everybody thought that, you know what I'm saying, you know, I was her little brother, you know what I'm saying, when they used to hear about me and shit. And I was like, nah, she just, you know what I'm saying, she was one of them sisters, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, she the smallest in the room, but you know what I'm saying, you know, she gonna bite your ass like a big dog, like you know what I'm saying, she got that big dog demeanor, you know what I'm saying? And and we respected her for it. You know what I'm saying? So that was, you know, that was really, that it was really one of them situations where it was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I was just so angry and you know what I'm saying? Everybody's just like, oh, she gonna pull through, she gonna pull through. And it's like, bro, like did y'all not, you know what I'm saying? I, I know we in here for the same person, but did y'all not see, you know, how she was looking? You know what I'm saying? Her heart rate dropped like, you know what I'm saying? Like since, like since she had been in the hospital, like her heart rate had dropped like eight, nine times. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know, when it's getting that consistent, I know it's, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know it's, you know, in human nature to still hope for the best, but you know what I'm saying? You know, at this point, bro, we got to prepare ourselves mentally for the worst. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, at that time we didn't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you earlier, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, like what it was like an hour before she passed, like everybody was saying, like, you know, you know, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? She getting good, she getting better, she getting better. And it's like, okay, bro, it's only a matter of time before, like, you know what I'm saying? They just be like, okay, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got her good. You know, she just in a small coma, bro. We just got to wait for her to wake up type shit. Mm -hmm. And it just, you know what I'm saying? You know, it just didn't happen like that. Um, it, it's crazy you say that because, uh, like I said, I didn't see your sister before. She a little petite thing, like, um, not to say that in like any kind of way. She just was petite. She wasn't a no big girl. She's small as hell, man. Yeah, it was crazy because my sister the same way was five foot three, five foot two, ball of five. So like, it, it's just mm -hmm. about sisters. Like, they don't play about their brothers. They don't play about their family. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, um, it's like, like you said, it just a lot of it jumping just make me angry. Like for me, I feel like you know sometimes I'd be feeling like I, I was the problem child. Like I'm the one who who like like sometimes like it was one point when I was in Miami, I had missed my flight. And I was sitting up there like, damn, bro, like, how am I finna get back to California? Like, you know what I'm saying? And my mm-hmm. dad and him was like, oh, somebody will drive down there and get you. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting up in the airport, boo-hoo crying, because I'm like, nah, I don't feel like I deserve the love that I get from y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't even feel like I deserve to be a part of this family. And, like, for to see my mama and my daddy like that, like, it, it's just hard because, like, damn, like, I can't fix it. And it's like, I be calling them and stuff. And it's like, damn, like, sometimes I be wondering, do they want to talk to me and stuff like that? And things like that. And it's just like, I can't replace the person that ain't there no more. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. My yeah, niece yeah. be calling out, like, sometimes now, she be calling out mommy, mommy, mommy. And it's like, like, damn, bro. Like, I- I'm the one who's responsible for you now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it shit scared me. Like, like how you said, I had quit my job in October, like right before her birthday. And like, uh, she was so happy because she was like, I know you didn't like that job. Like, I, I know that like you hated waking up and going to that job and things like that. Even though I, I appreciate God giving me that job and there, things like that. I just didn't like it. And um, it was just like, after it happened, like, it, I felt so lost. It's like, dang, am I doing the right thing? Do I do I know where to go? Uh, how am I gonna take care of my niece? Like, it, because as we see, evidently life is real short, and like, mm-hmm. my, my parents ain't gonna be here forever, so they can't take care of my niece forever. Like, the only reason she back home is because I'm worried, like, about my mama. Like, I feel like if she don't have my niece, then I don't know what could happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know she be going through it every day. Like, I can hear her voice when I call her. I can, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I, I just wish I could, if I could change it, but I, I, I promise I would switch places with her, just like you said. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, but we both know that's not what they would want. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, no, of course not. And we just gotta, we, we definitely gotta keep on pushing. And, I'm proud of you for still being here, cause yeah, I, I obviously I knew you lost your sister, but I had no idea that was the process. Like you know what I'm saying, and I'm I can't say it enough. I'm sorry that you had to go through that. Like yeah, I'm sorry no, that. that shit just like, and I think like one like the the worst part of it. I'm glad like I'm over that part now. The worst part of it was. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to, you know I'm saying, you know, trying to still move through life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know how you trying to, you know, trying to still, you know, trying to still keep pushing and shit like that. Trying to, you know what I'm saying? You know, trying to still figure out your meaning and in, in your purpose of life and like, when it you know, you know, like when it was still fresh, like I, I swear, like bro, like I wasn't getting no fucking sleep. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I would doze off, and you know what I'm saying? That 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 first that first sight of when we walked in that room with her, it you know, you know, I could still see it, and I was you know, I would you know try to you know try to put my mind on other things. And for like two weeks straight, like I just kept hearing her voice, like, you know, you know, like anytime I would ask her, like, you know, you know, is everything okay? You good? You need anything? You know what I'm saying? Her response was always, I'm okay, brother. I'm okay, brother. I'm okay, brother. And you know what I'm saying? You know, and and I, 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 it just, I kept hearing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I'm real deal, like, in my mind, like I'm, I'm just like, damn, like you know, so, you know, every time I would think, like, you know, what could have I, you know, saying, what, what, what could I have done? It's always, you know, what I'm saying, I hear her voice. I'm okay, brother. It's okay, brother. It's okay, brother. And it's like, 
you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't, you know what I'm saying? You know, motherfuckers don't realize, like, you know what I'm saying, the bond, you know what I'm saying, you know, that me and her had. You know what I'm saying? Anytime we would hang out, bro, like, and it, it used to be so funny, bro, hanging out with my sister, bro, because it's like, we go anywhere. You got dudes looking and shit. And, you know what I'm saying, you know, and I'm like, go ahead, like, what you doing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, you know what I'm saying? You know, signal them like, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna say that I'm her brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, it was just like, you know, like, you'd be like, damn, bro. Like, <laughs> and it, it, it just be so funny, dog. Like, niggas used to be like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, put me on your sister. Like, no, you put yourself in, cuz. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, and, and the first thing I say, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, my sister mean as hell, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? If you saw, bro, you might well pack it up, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she not knows anything. Like, my sister was, you know what I'm saying? My sister was, you know what I'm saying? Was damn near, like, you know what I'm saying? The embodiment, the strength of, you know what I'm saying? Everything, what, you know what I'm saying? You know, what a black woman is, bro. Like, that that was my sister, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm I'm gonna do this with, with my own two hands instead of my own two feet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like never really needed help. And the only time she really asked us when, when she really, really, really needed help. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? That you know what I'm saying, no, no, but I'm gonna say this um to anybody who watching, you know what I'm saying, you know, no matter what, you know what I'm saying, you know, even if you help, you know what I'm saying, even if you healthy as shit. You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Stay, you know, stay on top of your health, eat right. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know what I'm saying, you know, eating right, eat, you know what I'm saying? Stay eating right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just, just real to take care of yourself. And then if you have loved ones who have, you know what I'm saying, cancer, diabetes, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? You know, make sure that they right. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. You know what I'm saying? Even if they say, you know what I'm saying, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Stay on their ass about it because you know what I'm saying. You never know when you know what I'm saying God gonna come. You know, punch that clock, clock you out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You you, you never really know. You know what I'm saying? And and also, you know what I'm saying? You know, make sure your your loved ones know that you love them because of the fact that you know you never know. And you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, out of home, girl. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. You know what I'm saying? Want to go too in depth with her situation. But, you know what I'm saying? Literally, like a month after I lost my sister, she lost her brother. I know exactly who you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? She tried to, you know what I'm saying? You know, she tried to, you know what I'm saying? She was trying to help me, you know, grieve my situation. And then, boom, it hit her too. And it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Every day, like, you know what I'm saying? I try to make sure she know that, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, look. You know what I'm saying? No matter what the situation is, no matter, you know what I'm saying, how you feeling, bro, no matter what time it is, bro, you can hit me up, hit my line, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know what you're going through. You just lost a sibling. I just lost a sibling. You know what I'm saying? I'm here with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, we don't have to fight these these battles, these wars alone. You know what I'm saying? Even if I didn't understand, you know what I'm saying, what was going on, I'm still going to try to, you know, try to be there for you try to be the shoulder you could cry on and shit like that you know what i'm saying be be that listening ear even if i don't know even if you call me and talk and i don't say shit you know what i'm saying i you know i try to do that and you know what i'm saying like i said but just you know, saying, you know just love on every you know what I'm saying everybody who you love you know what i'm saying love you know what I'm saying love on them unconditionally you know what i'm saying make sure you know what I'm saying even if you don't talk to them every day you know what i'm saying shit hit them up once a week let them know, hey, look, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm thinking about your brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Your brothers, sisters, you know what I'm saying? Parents, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure everybody that you fuck with, that you love, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they know that you love them and shit. Cause, like I said, right? You know what I'm saying? You, you, you never fucking know. You know what I'm saying? You could wake up one day on top of the world and, and just like that, it'll come crashing the fuck down. Like they say, uh, God will humble you real quick. Like yes, sir. Um, 
he'll make you realize, uh, okay, but no, I'm the one in control. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a, a good I'm in control and sometimes it's a, a bad feeling of I'm in control. You know what I'm saying? As far yeah. as controls. And um, uh, let me ask you this. What's the best advice you done receive during this time? Like from some other? Uh, it was actually at her funeral. You know what I'm saying? You know, the pastor was speaking and you know, I'm standing there and I'm just like, you know I'm, I'm I'm out of it. Yeah. But I'm listening. And he was saying that even though, you know, she's on, even though, you know what I'm saying, we'll never, you know, see her in physical form again. Just know that she's in a place better than here. Yeah. And when he said that dog, like it kind of, it kind of lit me up on the inside because you know what I'm saying? This world right now that we living in dog is crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? New variants of COVID every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? People dying to fucking gun violence and you know what I'm saying? You know, shit like that. And you know, I'm saying me being a survivor of gun violence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just think about it like, damn. You know what I'm saying? You know, can it happen again? Will it happen again? You know what I'm saying? Will I be able to protect myself next time? Yeah. And you know, and I think about it as if like, you know, yeah, my sister not here no more, but I ain't got to worry about you know nobody murdering my sister. I ain't got to worry about, you know what I'm saying, you know, my sister dying in some kind of freak accident or, you know what I'm saying, you know, her suffering anymore, you know what I'm saying, you know, than, than she was. And and I'm just, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I got the time that I did spend with her. I'm grateful for, you know what I'm saying, you know, being able to tell my sister, you know what I'm saying, you know, every time we got the phone, I always told her I loved her. And if I fuck around and forget, you know what I'm saying, you know, I call her right back and be like, all right, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Or I text her and be like, I love you. You know what I'm saying? It, I, you know what I'm saying? I, and, and, you know what I'm saying? Him just saying that, you know, she's in a place better than here made me feel, made me feel, you know, what I'm you know it made me feel good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad she ain't, you know, she ain't got to worry about catching COVID. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, like her being a diabetic, it, it, it may have taken, you know, that may have taken her out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, anything, you know, it's, it's so many things that could have taken my sister out. And, you know, I just, you know, I'm just, I'm grateful for, you know, so, you know the, the time we spent together. I'm grateful for the conversations we had. I'm grateful for, you know what I'm saying? For, every, you know, for everything, like, I'm you know, I'm, I'm glad, you know, so, you know, I can I can speak on my sister with you know, so, you know, I could I could throw her name to such high heights, you know what I'm saying? And 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 not be sitting here like, you know, so, you know, not be sitting here lying and shit, you know what I'm saying? I could like, you know what I'm saying, my sister was, you know, so, you know, just, you know what I'm saying, top tier person, but I could sit here and tell you that, you know what I'm saying, you know, my sister was a you know saying was a hard working black woman who, you know what I'm saying, anything she wanted, she got it, you know what I'm saying, she got it out the muscle. Yeah. No. Um, no. Yeah. Um, like I said, um, uh, man, uh, cause they, like you say, this, this world is, it's something, man. It, 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 it is, it, it's wild. Um, I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Cause like you said, it's just so much going on, so much everything. We gotta be grateful for the time that we share with our loved ones. Like, uh, I'm so grateful that I got 24 years with my sister. And mm. uh, I'm grateful that uh, I got to at least call her on her birthday and uh, let her know I loved her and everything like that, instead of how I left it in July, walking out the house, not giving a hug and saying, bye, I love you. Like, now nah, I understand, like, why my mama stuck on us about that when we was kids and stuff saying bye i love you or you know what i'm saying because 
you you don't know the last time you won't get that goodbye. You don't know the last time you won't get to hug your sibling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just, like, I, I think, I, I can't even remember the last time I hugged my sister because I walked up out that house, but I can remember the last time I was pissed off at her. And yeah. I think if I had to give advice to anybody, it'd be, uh, like you said, be grateful for the time that you have with them. Show that person love. Uh, if they are sick, uh, do your best that you can to take care of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, or stay on top of them about their they health because uh, like it, anything can happen. Anything can happen, and you never know when. You never know when God gonna punch your clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never, you never know, dog. You never know. Yeah. So, um, you you got any questions for me? Uh, I know I've been uh, this whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what? Like, I'm trying to think. Take your time. We got time. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Um, what do you think? Like, it was you know, if you, if if your sister could, you know, you know, could call you right now, and you know, what what you think she would tell you? Um, cause sometimes I do see her in my dreams. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, uh. Like you said, like how you couldn't sleep uh, when it first I, I couldn't sleep because the first time I went to sleep, just popped up in a dream, like, and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like you usually ain't got control of your dreams and stuff like that. But like, I could I could actually like, you know what I'm saying? Like, f- like feel everything that was happening, like in the dream, like, mm. so like when she came to me in a dream, I was downstairs and like, everybody was at the house like our family and all her friends and um I just walk into the room and I'm sad and then she look at me holding her baby and she was like she used to call me man so she was like hey man and I was like I just like I had stopped breathing like I had literally stopped breathing like I could feel my body stop breathing even in my sleep and she was like what's wrong like I'm okay and I was just like, like, it's like, where you been at? Like, wh- where you at? Like, I, I need to know where you at so I can come to you. Like, and it's like, she like, nah, you can't, you can't come here. Like, you, you still got stuff to do. Or you still got stuff I need you to do and that you got to accomplish. And for me, I feel like she, she would tell me, take care of my baby. Like, that's, that's her most prized possession. Take care of her baby. Take care of her mama and take care of, cause me and my sister didn't have the same dad, uh, but she did treat my dad like that was her dad and uh, mm-hmm. take, and take care of both sets of her parents. You know what I'm saying? And just be a upstanding God fearing man like she want me to be. And mm-hmm. just keep pushing, like don't never give up. Like, cause like you said, it, it's, it's hard, bro. It, it, it's hard. Like some days it's hard to get out of bed. Some days it's hard to get going and like doing what you need to do. And then like, sometimes I'll be having all these doubts. So like, dang, am I doing the right thing? Am I like it? I, I just started, like, I'll be having times where I just don't get, I, I can't get confident in myself. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's hard. Cause like she, she thought the, the world of me and stuff like that. And it's, I, 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 I just, I just want to make her proud, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in being, being a good person, being, like I said, just, just taking care of my family. Like, that's, that's why I think she would much, much to tell mm-hmm. like, be happy and take care of the family. That's all that matters to her. Yeah. And what do you think your sister would say to you right now? Mm-hmm. What she would tell, listen, what she would tell me, um, don't, you know what I'm saying? Well, first of all, you know, don't be in a rush to get to her. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't, 
like, you know what I'm saying, you know, don't beat myself up about it. And, you know what I'm saying, you know, just, 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 just keep, keep going forward. Keep, you know, you know, keep pushing myself forward. Keep trying to, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, become the person who, who, who we both knew I could become. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, just, just do, you know what I'm saying? Just do whatever it is that I, I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, she's still watching me. She's still proud of me. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? Just, just keep going through life and be happy, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And that's that's all this is about, like, yeah. uh, finding your purpose so you can find that happiness that you was looking for. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, I mean, even though life's short, we still got time at the same time. It's it's a weird, uh, what should I say, is that a paradox, I guess, or oxymoron or whatever it's called, uh, that we have time, but life is short. And yeah, 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 yeah. Trusting yourself about it every day, all day. Don't do you no good. It don't do nobody else no good. We just, you have to take steps and build brick by brick every day till you can get back to your solid foundation. Um, if you got anything else for me, uh, no, I, 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 I really appreciate this, though. Dog. Like, it, it's good to have people like, you know what I'm saying? not just people who understand, but people who, you know, people who want to, who want to help understand, you know what I'm saying? Who want to help, you know, help people get through, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, these traumas, the, you know what I'm saying? You know, this depression and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, 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 it is, it, it's, it's great to have somebody who, you know what I'm saying? You know, who, you know, who, you know what I'm saying? You know, who want to listen. And, no. and not just be like, you know what I'm saying, you know, not just be listening, you know what I'm saying, you know, for like they good deed of the day type shit, but you know what I'm saying, just real deal listen to get an understanding, to get, you know what I'm saying, you know, to, to kind of like, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily speed up the grieving process, but make it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more easier to deal with, you know what I mean? Yeah, because there's no way to speed up this process. But Yeah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> What I'm I saying. can't do is be the best thing <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, that's, ain't, that's no, ain't, I can. ain't no way, bro. That's the one thing I can do is be here for you the best I can. Listen yeah, yeah, to you. Yeah. Try my best to understand because there's no way yeah, I can fully yeah. understand ever. But I yeah, can yeah, have yeah. to get to some point of understanding to where I'm like, okay, this is what he going through. This is what I need to do to be there for him. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, bro, if you ever need to pick up the phone at any time, bro, you can call me. Yeah, 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 for sure. Say this on the broadcast one more time. For any of my friends and family, you can call me at any time. At any time. If you ain't got my number and you and you need somebody to call, hit me in the DM, hit me in Messenger, post on my wall, uh, hit me up mm -hmm. on Twitter. It, it don't matter because there's no way that somebody can get through this by themselves. You nah. know? you'll end up unaliving yourself like that because you done drove yourself crazy. Yeah, you know listen, you've been unchecked yourself out mentally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and at that point, you know what I'm saying? You know, in a sense, it's like, bro, you a zombie. You know what I'm saying? You, you just really just, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just, at that point, you just really just, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that. People, you know, people who who would, you know, what I'm saying, you know, not, you know what I'm saying, don't have nobody to go to, and just real deal, like, you know, what I'm saying, they going through that shit by themselves. I honestly feel like that, you know, what I'm saying, when you hit that state where, like, you know, what I'm saying, you don't have nowhere to, you know, what I'm saying, nowhere to run to, you become a zombie, and you become, you know say, you become a, 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 a slave to your own mind, your own doubts, your own depression, and, you know, what I'm saying, and 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 that's what leads to, you know people committing suicide and shit like that because of the fact that they forget their meaning they forget their you know what I'm saying their purpose yeah. and you know like you said like you know, you know as black men you know so you know we were taught to you know that bottom you know that you don't cry bro you know so you know you take shit to the chin and you know so you know even you know saying, just the other day like a girl made a post on facebook and was asking like you know so you know men how do y'all 
you know, how do you grieve or you know, so how do you, you know, so you know, how do you deal with emotion and shit like that? And you know, so you know, me, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm one of those men, like I just kind of like, you know, I kind of you know, so you know, take it day by day, but you know, so you know, I try to make it to where like, you know, so you know, each day, bro, I try to forget about it. Like it's still there, but I kind of just like, you know, so you know kind of bury it or some shit like that. And I was like, you no, know, so I told her straight up, I was like, listen, like, you know what I'm saying? My, like, like dudes, just, you know what I'm saying? Dudes just really just don't, you know, don't know how to handle these things because, you know what I'm saying? That it's just a way that, you know, we was brought up and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Is it healthy? Hell no, it's not. Of course not. Mm-hmm. And like her question to me was, um, if I had a son, would I teach him the same habits? And I said, hell no. You know what I'm saying? I would rather, you know, become a, you know, so, you know and, and that's, I feel like that's the mission now is to become a safe, a safe space for, you know, someone else. Cause just because I didn't have a safe space growing up don't mean I can't be somebody else's safe space. You know what I'm saying? To, to express themselves and I was like no nah, of course not I would want my son to be comfortable enough to come to me and you know say hey dad you know I'm I'm feeling the type of way because of this and it's like okay well you know saying you know what's going on let's talk about it yeah. you know what I'm saying I try to be that way like you know say with my brother you know saying? I got a younger brother he eight you know what I'm saying so like I try to be like that with him you know saying? you know I don't you know saying? you know I don't want to you know him to grow up and be, you know, saying not being able to express himself, mm-hmm. and you know, saying I don't know, saying that's another thing too. Like I don't, I don't really, you know, saying you know, I don't really believe in therapists and shit like that because of the fact that some therapists, you know, saying they charge you an arm and a leg and shit just to sometimes invalidate your, you know, saying your emotions and shit like that. Because that happened to me, like as a teenager, like I had a therapist and. She used to invalidate, like, you know what I'm saying, like, every emotion that I had, she used to try to invalidate it, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, especially, like, you know what I'm saying, in front of certain people and shit, but, um, yeah, like, I feel like, you know, for your loved ones, you know, you should be their first line of defense, Yeah. you know what I'm saying, and, you know, saying, you know and, and if you, if you really can't help them, then, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know, you go get some professional help. But you know what I'm saying before you just sit here and say like okay man listen before you you fuck around and say you know what I'm saying you know go get a therapist like no nah, like you know what I'm saying first of all you know what I'm saying you know what's going on let's talk about it you know what I'm saying what are you feeling why do you feel this way you know what I'm saying what things happen around you that you know what I'm saying that trigger you to feel this way you know what I'm saying and and like I said you know what I'm saying like I said like you know what I'm saying that that's it's really like in a lot of black men because it's like, you know, black men don't got, you know, don't, don't have, you know, that safe space. And it's like, shit, we should be able to, you know, become each other's safe space. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, like, you're not feeling right, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, I pull up on you. You know what I'm saying? You pull up on me. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a drink. Let's smoke. You know what I'm saying? You know, let, let, let's just chop it up, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, just, you know, just really talk about it and, you know, get down to the bottom of it. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Now, you feeling, you know what I'm saying? You know, you feeling good. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm feeling good because I helped you. You my bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's not even on no, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I could just go back and say, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, I helped, you know what I'm saying? I helped my dog when he was down bad. Like, no, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, that, you know what I'm saying? That's a, it's a different kind of feeling when it, you know what I'm saying? When it's genuine, when it comes from the heart. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you, when you real did, you got so you got your homeboys to open up and you know what I'm saying, you know, say, okay, bro, this was going on. You know what I'm saying? I only feel this way when I get around this certain saying this you know saying this certain person, uh, or you know what I'm saying, you know, when this start happening, you know, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We you know saying, you know, we gotta come together and 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 save each other and become the kings that you know saying, you know, that that we we know that we know we supposed to be, you know what I mean? That's, um, like I can say, man, uh, I'll say this one more time. I appreciate you talking with me. I appreciate you sharing with me and us, everybody. 
because this is uh gonna be my first episode back since I done moved out to California. Um and uh I, I'm I'm just sorry, bro, like that you had to go through that. Uh uh I believe we had the same mutual friend who lost uh a brother. Um mm-hmm. I, if it's who I think you're talking about, um, I'm sorry. She had to go through that. But I didn't even know what to say to her. Either. I, I ain't know what to say to none of y'all because it's been a few people to lose siblings down my tail. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't even know what to say. But if any of them, if like I said, it, if you want to, you can call me, bro. I'm, my line always open. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Same here, bro. Same here. Oh, yeah, I already know, bro. I, mean, I, I appreciate you. Like, I, I really do because. I, I I couldn't get through this alone. The note, I mean, I'm not happy that you had the same pain, but I'm happy that we can we can share with each other and we can have an understanding of each other and, and be there for each other in in ways that like some people just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? So once again, bro, I, I appreciate you coming on. Um, I appreciate yeah. you being here. Um, if you ever want to come back on, you can come back on again and about something completely yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know, bro. Yeah, for sure. So, um, and um, I, I should be home in May for your birthday. So I heard you was having like a birthday bash yeah. posted. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on the dates, you know, and everything, I should, I might be home. I don't know. It just depends. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. Once, once I get everything squared away, bro, I'm gonna let everybody know, dog. For sure. And um, I'm gonna keep on praying for you every day, uh, like I've been doing. Uh, <laughs> my boy. And um, I, I hope you have a good rest of your day, my boy. Uh. Keep your head up. I know it's easier said than done, but um, you too. We yeah. There is hope. There there is light at the end of that tunnel. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Part of the reason why I you hold on, I'm gonna turn off my camera real quick. But that's part of the reason why I use this picture right here. Uh, my sister's favorite place was the beach, and like when I saw this right here, it's like I was driving up the coast of uh, California, and it's like. That, that, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. That that's that's yeah, the light yeah, yeah, the tunnel yeah. that I'm looking for, and we, we gonna be okay. So um, yes, that, that, that wraps up this episode of the Ant Hill. Uh, I appreciate everybody listening. I hope that you found some peace in this. I hope that you found something that you can use for your own personal grief in this. Uh, and uh, Baki Road, Corner your Road, we out of here. Appreciate you, my boy. Yes, sir. I'm on across the country just to get my mind right. I've been sleeping all day cause I'm up.